Hey guys, today we're going to be progressing with the resistance bands, really emphasising on the arms and back muscles, taking them through a variety of movements. So the first exercise we're going to do today is with the resistance band, it's called a single arm row. So if you'd like to lay the band down, outstretching it, if you place one foot near to the end, I say around about 12 inches or so from the handle, step your right leg back into a lunge position and then keeping the left hand outside of the left knee, we're going to then slowly row back keeping just outside of your right leg. Nice and slow movement with a little hold at the top. Turn back down and come back up. Okay, Jay, Suze, let's see this in action. I'm gonna go for around about six repetitions each side, guys. Up to six is good. Okay, Suze, that's it. So just a nice gap between the foot and the resistance band. Just lean forward slightly. And let's go raise your right elbow back. Just keeping your hands close to your body as you can. Do you feel tension in here when you pull yeah. back? Great, that's it, just hold that nice and steady. Okay guys, if you feel a little bit off level in this position with your back foot up, you can put the back foot down or come a little further forward. So the key thing is to keep the chest forward, eyes looking down, nice spine alignment, just a nice, slow, controlled repetition. Okay Jay, we'll change over. Did you get any of that in your bicep as well, or predominantly back? More in my back. More in your back, cool. Second time round, perhaps we'll catch the bicep as well. Okay, so nice and steady. Hold, feel it there. Yeah. Good, come back down, come back up. As you can see, Jay's keeping really good spine alignment. His head's just dropped as I said that. And keeping nice and upright, shoulders back, really working that powerful muscle on the side of the back there. The latissimus dorsi, lovely name. Okay guys, so when we get to six on the other side, let's have a little break and we'll move on to the next exercise. Okay, Suze? Yeah. Good stuff. Okay guys, for the next exercise, we're gonna to need to use the Swiss ball. So if you'd like to go and grab your Swiss balls. And if we spin round, we're gonna outstretch our arms and take a lunge forward and then return back. It looks like this. Keeping it nice and slow, keeping the arms outstretched. Okay, give it a go. Can you go for up to six each side with this one, guys? I'll have a seat whilst you crack on. All right, Jay, good. So keeping the arms nice and outright. Gonna come down, come up. Good. And down, come up. Nice and controlled, keeping your chest out, shoulders back. Breathe in on the way down, out on the way up. Okay, when you get to six, we're gonna change legs. All right, so we spin around the other side, guys. Okay, Suze? Yeah. Good, that's okay. Come down. Nice and steady. So you stick your arms out a little bit further in front, that's it, good. That's starting to hurt your shoulders. Yeah. That's okay, guys. I mean, that's natural. As time goes on, you'll feel your arms wanting to go down. Just let them lower gently to make sure you're not kneeing the ball each time now. Good, see? It's fantastic. Good form. Just keep it nice and upright, nice and slow as you come down. And done. Good stuff. Excellent. Okay, guys, keeping with the Swiss balls, the next one we're going to do is the Swiss ball wood chop. So if we get into a squat position, so shuffle the feet shoulder width apart, we're going to bend down and we're gonna to rotate to our left, and as we come up, we're gonna rotate up to our right. So bend down to the left, up to the right. Just keeping the eyes forward with this movement. Okay. Again, we're gonna go for around about six repetitions each side, breathing in on the downward phase and out on the upward phase as you rotate upwards. Okay, Jay, so coming down, coming up, nice rotation. It's more comfortable to follow the ball with the eyes, feel free. Generally, I prefer to look forward, but whatever's most comfortable. Good. So, Jay, see if we can go a little bit lower this time. Come down, come down, up you come. Excellent, good, that's great. <laughs> One more. Good, see, so now we're gonna go the other way, so we're gonna come down here and rotate up to me. Hopefully missing me. Come down and up, boom, that's it, great. Come down, 
Come up, nice big twist. Twist as much as you can, guys. You really get that stretch across here. Great, it's easy, that's good. And just a few more, guys. Keep it going, just keep the tempo nice and steady. Nice two seconds down, two seconds up. Nice and controlled, low and slow. Good stuff, okay, we're all right? Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, guys, so we can grab the resistance bands again. I'm just gonna move on to a resistance band bent over row. So first and foremost, if we lie the resistance band down, we take one step to the left. Try and keep pretty close to the handles this one, guys, is a key point. So if we lay it down, round about again, 12 inches to the one handle, 12 inches away from the other, going into a nice bent over stance, and we're gonna row up to here with the elbows out. I'm also gonna show this from the other side as well. Okay, so just to see from a side on angle, Again, about 12 inches to one side, 12 inches to the other. Arching the lower back, creating a curve. Eyes down, good spine alignment, and coming to here. Really squeezing the shoulder blades together at the top of the movement. Okay, Suze? Check. All right. And see if we can hit up to 10 repetitions with this one, guys. Now, it is a challenging one, and you really feel your legs starting to go as well, not to mention your back muscles and biceps as well. So, up to 10 is great. Let's just see how we get on. Good, Jess. Keep the elbows out. Let the elbows lead throughout the whole movement. You can see Jao's elbows are nice and wide. If that feels too hard and it's really hurting your back, we can come change the grip of the hands inward and then we can come out that way. Just do one inward for me, Joe, if you don't mind. Just spin the hands in, and then come into there, keeping narrower. Does that feel easier? Feels different. Feels different? <laughs> okay, and we go back to the outward. That's it. Working the big guy a little harder there. Excellent. Great. You okay? Yeah, feeling good. Does that feel all right? Yeah, that one felt fine. And where, where predominantly do you feel that one? Um, I can feel it in my arms and then right in my back there. Right in the back as well. Yeah. That's great. So really try and emphasise squeezing your shoulder blades together. Kind of imagine you've got a grape and try and pop it each time or whatever fruit you like. <laughs> and go there. Good stuff. Okay guys, the last exercise of the circuit is the dip and kick. Pretty funky exercise this one. I shall demonstrate on the floor. So, we get into kind of like a crab position. And we're just gonna do a little dip down, so bum touches the floor, come back up, little kick. Down, bum touches the floor, extend up, kick. Okay. Gonna see if we can do round about eight, four each side, nice and controlled. Okay, so if you pop yourself into position, so keeping your hands just a little bit away from the back, that's good. That fit all right. Don't yeah. outstretch too much as you okay. find it very difficult. <laughs> Just keep the hands a nice comfortable distance to your body. And we're going to come down. And as you come up, a nice little kick. Perfect. Come down. Come up. Nice little left kick. Good. Let's see if we can get really low. Just touch the foot briefly. And come back up. Good. That's it. Testing Susie. <laughs> Again, guys, if it feels too much to go all the way down, you don't have to go all the way down. Just go to where you feel comfortable so you can return back up and hit at least twice each side. Okay. How are you getting on, Jay? Yeah, it's starting to feel it in the back of the arms. It's starting now. to feel a burn in the back of the arms. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Okay. All right, we're all done. Yep. Good stuff. Well done, everybody. Okay, I'm just going to return back to the first exercise. Just quickly going to recap, and we lay the resistance band down. So just to recap quickly, we're going to put the left foot, first of all, about 12 inches from the actual strap itself. Put the right foot back, hand down to the side, or if at this stage you're starting to really feel it now, which I'm sure you are, the left hand on top of the knee, and you do this nice rowing position to the outside of your right leg. You can good spine alignment, eyes down. Okay. Second time round, Suze. <laughs> Be strong. <laughs> That's it, so left foot there. A little bit closer if you can. I reckon you can. Handle more resistance than that, Suze. I reckon you're hustling us all. That's great. So you can drop that if you want to hold on to it, whatever you're most comfortable with. It really doesn't make any difference. The resistance is all coming from the foot upwards. Okay, breathe in. As you breathe out, pull the bar back. That's it. Come in, come out. Keeping the elbows close to the body, guys, is key. Really lengthening that lat muscle throughout the full range of motion. If you want to get a little more jazzier with it, you can even rotate your hand inwards. 
and then come all the way outwards. Let's have a little look at that, Sue. So as you come down, rotate the hand inwards. You feel that really stretching? Yeah. And then all the way outwards. All right. Okay. Good stuff. Moving on to the other leg, guys. Again, let's see if we can hit up to six repetitions each side. That's the goal. Okay, Jay, nice and upright. Good spine alignment, looking down, and up we go. Nice little hold at the top. Good, I really feel that work in there, the lats. Let's see, good. The biceps started to kick in yet, or are you still on? Yeah, still it's yeah, is it starting to work now? Great. I knew it would be a matter of time. Good stuff. Again, guys, if you're really starting to feel this now, naturally, you don't have to come as high. You can keep it lower. You can even come more upright as well. Take the load off the legs. Okay, so the next exercise we did was a Swiss ball exercise. So if you'd like to grab the Swiss ball. Okay, turn into a profile. So outstretching the arms in front. I'm just going to do a nice low lunge outwards. Come down, back slowly, return to the position. Down and back slowly. All right, Suze. So I shall pull up a pew and have a look. Okay, guys, we're gonna have around about six each side. Let's go. Breathe in, come down nice and low. Breathe out. See if you can put your hands slightly higher, Suze. Excellent, good. Two, keeping the knees over the toes. Chest out, shoulders back. Fantastic, good, great pace. Good, Jay. All right. All legs. All legs, starting, starting to feel a little burn. Fantastic. All right, and spinning around. Let's have a see how JR's getting on over here. Okay. Yeah, one. That's it, nice and upright. Let's see. Again, guys, if you're really starting to feel this now, you can drop the arms slightly, and you don't have to go as low. Just keep it nice and smooth. All those of you feeling it easy, go a little bit lower. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, fantastic. So keeping with the Swiss ball, guys, I'm just gonna go back to the wood chop, which is the third exercise we did in the circuit. Getting into a nice squat position, so feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna breathe in, rotate to the left, breathe out, come up to the right. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, you can either let the eyes follow the ball or keep them forward. So we can come round or keeping them forward as well. Okay, let's go. Round, good. Excellent, breathe in, Jay. So you're breathing, breathe out, good. That's it, really stretch those lungs, intercostal muscles between the ribs as well. It's release the tension in those. We can really twist and feel that. Real great all over body exercise, this one, guys. Real calorie burner. Okay, Suze. Let's go for another six, coming down, coming up. Good. Down low. Let's have you down a little bit lower, Suze. Come down, how are we doing? Yeah, and back up. Good, fantastic, that's great. Great movement, nice big rotation movements. Hang in there, guys, a few more repetitions. Good, great movement, Suze, it's fantastic. Okay, so going back to the resistance bands, I'm just gonna recap on the fourth exercise, which was the overhand resistance band row. So again, if you'd like to lay the resistance band down, Put one foot 12 inches or so from the end, 12 inches or so from the other end. Palms facing towards the body. We're going to come up, squeeze the shoulder blades, a little hold, return back down. I'm just going to show that again from a profile. So it's a pretty complex movement. or well, it's not, but to get in a position initially does take a little bit of time. So coming down, arching the back, keeping nice spine alignment. Coming up, holding, returning back down. Okay. Okay guys, we're gonna go for around about 10 repetitions with this one. Again, you can mix it up as well. You can experiment with your grip. But try and keep it wide if you can. Let's go, Jay. Squeeze my fingers together. That's it, a little hold, come back down. As you come up, squeeze a little hold. That's it, guys, really squeeze these shoulder blades together. These are postural muscles called the rhomboids. They're basically joined from one shoulder blade to the other. And when we're always sitting down at our desk or commuting long hours, these muscles get separated and stretched. We're trying to get them back together, which will give us this nice upright posture. Nice, confident upright posture. Good, Jay, great form. Good position throughout. 
So you can see JL's really bent right the way over. This makes the exercise a lot harder. For those of you who are starting to feel it now, just come up a little bit more. Okay. Brilliant, good job. Okay? Yep, feeling good. All right, good. So we're gonna take it down to the floor now for the last exercise of the circuit, which was the dip and kick. So if we come down to here, and go into a side shot so you can see better. And we're gonna go down as we come up, little straight kick, come down as we come up, little straight kick. All right? Okay. Great. See you in action, Suze. <laughs> see if we can do around about four each side, guys. Again, if it starts to feel the burn as you will at these late stages in the workout, have a little breather and go back to it. Okay, let's see. So coming down, pushing up, feel on the back of the arms. Yeah. <laughs> Also guys, naturally we're pretty off level here, so the core muscles as well, all working hard to support and stabilize you. Good. Coming up. Perfect. Let's go down a little bit lower, Suze. Come all the way up. Brilliant. Good job. Just a few more. I promise. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Good. Great work. Well done, guys. How was that? Good, yeah. Back of my arms are burning. Yeah, <laughs> good stuff.